All right, guys, our notes are now going to kind of shift back away from models and atomic history, and we're going to go back into some isotope stuff, okay? Um, we're going to talk now about how to calculate the average atomic mass of an element. We do this, we need to, in, in order to do this, we need to know some information about the isotopes, okay? So, uh, let's see if I can get this working here. Okay, so the average atomic mass is defined as a weighted average. Okay, in some of your classes, you might have your grades calculated. It might be a weighted grade. Okay, where your tests are worth a different amount of points than your homework, which is worth a different amount of points than your quizzes. Okay, that's how my class is done. Our tests are worth a different amount of points than our homework, which are different than our labs. Okay, um, so we're gonna we'll talk about here how to calculate a weighted average. The way that this works is it's going to take into account the abundance of each isotope in nature. Okay, how often you would come across each different isotope. Okay, so here is the equation for writing or solving for average atomic mass. This little Greek symbol here represents uh, the sum of. So everything that comes after, let's say we have three isotopes. We're going to have three sets of parentheses, and we're going to add each one of these up together. Okay, and that's going to give us our average atomic mass. The abundance of the isotope is the percentage, okay? The question is going to give you a percentage. That number goes in here for this part of your equation. The question is also going to give you a mass, okay? This is not going to be the mass number, but it's going to be an actual a, a number with probably some decimal points after it, and it's going to be the actual mass of that isotope. Okay, so that number goes in here. And let's say we have three isotopes. We're going to have three separate percentages. So your percentage times the mass. Percentage times the mass. And these guys are going to get added up together to give you your final average atomic mass. Okay, let's look at some examples. We're going to go through this one together. Um, you don't have to pause it and try and figure this one out together or on your own. Let's talk about it. So we're talking about chlorine here. Okay, we have two isotopes of chlorine. We have chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. Those would be considered your mass numbers. We don't really need those. What we're looking for is the actual mass. Okay, so this 34.969 and the 36.966. That's what we're looking for, okay? So, in order to find the average atomic mass, we need the percentage times the mass, and we have two isotopes, so we're gonna need this twice, okay? We're given one percentage and we need to find the other. So let's just kind of make a chart here. Chlorine 35, and chlorine 37. Okay, for chlorine 35, right here is my mass. So I'm gonna go 34.969 AMU, that's atomic mass unit, that's the unit. For chlorine 37, we have 36.966. AMU and it gives me my percentage for chlorine 37 so I've got 24.22 percent we need to make this a decimal so instead of out of a hundred percent we need to make it out of one in order to do that we divide by a hundred we move our decimal spot two spaces to the left and so this becomes 0.2422 Okay, now how do I find the percentage over here? Well, percentages always add up to 100. So 
I need to take 100% minus 24.22%. When you do that, you get, let me see if I can do this in my head, should be 75 point uh, seven eight percent. Let me double check. Probably should have just got the calculator in the first place. One hundred minus twenty four point two two seventy five point seven eight. I'm a genius. Okay. To change this to a decimal, we go to. Oh, nope. Don't want to start subtitles. Now it's. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll just have subtitles. Where? Let's turn them off. Okay. To turn this into a decimal, it becomes 0.7578. Okay. Now I need to put these into this equation up here. It doesn't matter which part goes where. So that we'll just let's just make this chlorine 35, and this part's going to be chlorine 37. So my average is going to be equal to my percentage, so 0 0.7578 times my mass, 34.969 AMU. Then I'm gonna add it to my information for chlorine 37, which is percentage 0.2422 times the mass, 36.966. I'm gonna add those together, okay? Make sure in your calculator you type this in exactly like it is with parentheses and everything. Otherwise, your order of operations might get thrown off, okay? So, when you do this, 0.7578 times 34.969 plus 0.2422 times 36.966. Okay, now I'm going to ask you before I write the answer, ask you ask yourself this question. Which of these isotopes occurs more often according to the percentage? Which one do you see more? Chlorine 35 or chlorine 37? Should be 35, 75% is bigger than 24%. Okay, so you'll see this one more often in nature, which means that your weighted average should be closer to this number than this number. There's more of this stuff present, so we should, our, our mass should account for that, and so we should be closer to the 34.969 than we are 36. When you do this in the calculator, we get to 35.45, and if we keep five significant figures, because we have five there and five there, actually, but we only have four there, so keep out four. So we have 35.45 AMU. Pause the video, go find a periodic table, and check the number for chlorine with this number. When you come back, it should be the same. 35.45 is what's listed on the periodic table for chlorine. Okay? That's how you know you did this right. Let's move, and that's all typed out, solving. I want you guys to solve this one on your own. Okay? Pause the video, write this out. When you think you have an answer, start the video again, and I will, um, I'll give you what, uh, what, my work, okay? Pause the video, solve it. <clears throat> Here we go to solve this. So we need mass and percentage of three isotopes. So we have point nine three two six times thirty eight point nine six plus point zero 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 one times thirty nine point nine six 
and that's going to be plus 0 0.0673 times 40.96. That's what your math should look like. Let's add these up. 0 0.9326 times 38.96. Close parentheses plus. And I get for potassium the average atomic mass. Of potassium according to my calculations comes out to 39.09 and we'll leave it there with four sig figs actually yeah let's go four sig figs 39.09 .09 atomic mass units and if we check this with what's on the periodic table we're good okay you have also, or will have, I don't know if you're watching the video, the assignment may or may not be posted yet, uh, but you will have a homework assignment that talks about average atomic mass, that walks you through how to calculate it and different things to look for. Okay? If you have any questions, make sure that you write them down and ask me when we get back to class. All right? Cool beans. Let's go.